In the 10 years we've been making films about beer, we've made a lot about IPA. We've drunk West Coast IPA on the West Coast, reveling in its bitterness, pine forest aroma and citrus. We've made a documentary about New England IPA in New England, swimming in its heady, juicy dankness. We've sipped at spicy, floral Belgian IPAs in Brussels. We've drunk homebrewed IPA in the Arctic Circle, and even jasmine IPA in Beijing. In fact, at this point, it looks like we'd do anything to not drink it in its homeland. Hell, our homeland. Despite inspiring all of these styles, making arguably the genesis of craft beer, English IPA has been left behind. By us, by brewers, and probably by you. One brewery that's never quite left it behind though, is Meantime. As one of the original British craft breweries, they built their reputation on it, and throughout the 2000s, the iconic bottles of Meantime India Pale Ale were found in pretty much all London's bottle shops. Even they've struggled to maintain drinkers' interest in it though. Today it's a tiny percentage of what they brew, and almost all of it is sent overseas. Increasingly, the lack of love for our own signature beer style, as well as the ingredients that make it, has begun to frustrate me. So when Meantime came to us asking if we wanted to brew a beer together, there was only one style I wanted to make, and I wanted to go big with it. In our third feature-length documentary, we attempt to get the world excited about English IPA. We'll visit the UK's amazing hop farms, which are in tragic decline. We'll visit the barley fields and maltings where heritage grains are being grown again for the first time in decades, and even a laboratory that holds brewing yeasts used centuries ago. Along the way, we'll also talk to brewers, writers, and historians to piece together IPA's ancient recipes and origins, including its place among the atrocities of the East India Company. After an epic road trip, we'll end up back at Meantime to brew an English IPA that combines the recipes and ideas of the 19th century with the ingredients and flavours of the 21st, a beer that we think represents both the future of English IPA and British brewing. This is The Time Is Now. <laughs>